first time going against Coach McCaslin, uh, expect that. <laughs> well, the good thing is we're a little used to it now after playing against Coach Tang. Um, uh, Obviously, a uh, great deal of respect for him and what a, a great coach he is, what a great program he runs. And uh, the one thing good about uh, playing against uh, uh, great coaches is you you learn when you do and um, seeing what they do offensively and defensively uh, um, is not only impressive but helps us get better. So uh, we'll wish him luck every game of the year except for this one, obviously. How much have you seen him take principles of what you guys do here and how much yeah. has he kind of well, I think, uh, uh, well, first and foremost, every every coach is always going to adapt to their personnel. Uh, and uh, Coach Tang, Coach Mack, both have done that. And um, they've won a variety of ways. Uh, and Coach Mack, is, he's been at, uh, I mean, Arkansas State, North Texas, now Texas Tech. So he's had different styles of play based on the personnel he's had, and he's been successful in whatever he's had this year. Um, offensively, they got some guys who can really shoot it and really score it. Uh, in conference stats, uh, um, number one in three-point percentage, and he does a good job getting them looks and getting them opportunities to be successful. Is it weird to see a Tech team that puts up 70, 80 points a game? <laughs> it is a little different. <laughs> uh, Grant was a little different. He already got a head coach for you. Yeah. How did you see him grow? Well, I think uh, um, it, you learn every day wherever you're at. And I think uh, uh, being uh, in the Big 12, um, just the Big 12 recruiting, Big 12 uh, uh, um, style of play and learning, going against those coaches. Uh, but uh, everyone we've ever brought on staff, uh, I think it's been an iron sharpens iron thing. We all learn from each other. And it's always been uh, our program and not, mine or his or someone else's so we've all we've all learned and built together <laughs> yeah um uh we we've actually uh uh i mean the game before we were at 80 percent and was tremendous so um uh but you work on it every day and it's one of those things where no one's going to be perfect, uh, but we're capable of being an 80% free throw shooting team. And uh, one thing as coaches is we always change and adjust. Uh, if things are working, we stick with it. If it's not, we change up what we're doing. We, we've done and tried a bunch of different things uh, free throw wise. And I think a lot of our guys have improved. Um, uh, Jaden, just uh, uh, in particular at the end of the game, um, I think if he's in that situation again, he'll make the last three. Oh, know definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It looked like he almost came out. Yeah, one, one, one thing about uh, uh, Jaden is um, he's, a t he's a tough player, and when he got here, we said, hey, it's Big 12, we need you. It needs to be durable and needs to be tough, and he's really done that. Kind of building on that, I mean, you guys have been pretty blessed with injuries. Yeah. Uh, you know, was it a little scary with Eve and Jaden, mm -hmm. you know? Well, in practice, you'll have those moments. So it, it, you're always you're always prayerful. And uh, Dave does a great job. Uh, it's not just in rehabbing but prevention and uh, uh, recovery helps prevent injuries and then Charlie does a great job with that as well and uh, unfortunately they're a part of the game they're going to happen um, you just hope that it, it doesn't happen where it's a long-term injury. Scott you, you mentioned uh, some of your former assistants but uh, it seems like they're always ready to be head coaches. Mm -hmm. Is it because of the one part of it maybe the responsibility you mm -hmm. Done a lot of things mm -hmm. I definitely think that's a – well, I think, first of all, uh, we do a good job of bringing people that are really good coaches and fit our culture and uh, are, are going to be successful. Second, um, I learned under my dad, my dad really delegated a lot. Some coaches um, 
tend to do more. Others tend to to delegate more. And I'm always, many hands make light work. And uh, the best way someone can get better at doing something is actually do it. And uh, our, our assistants, when they're here, they, they spend time actually uh, coaching. And, and I think the transition's a lot smoother and a lot easier um, where if you come from a place where you haven't had those opportunities and you're doing it all on the fly. landscape that you know your players a lot of players want to get to play with each other once maybe two years even now but with everything that happened the Iowa State game what do you think that kind of did for, for this team and yeah has there been maybe a, a flip switch or spark for the unity well, I mean it, it, it experiences bring you closer um, or can or can br- br- pull you apart and uh, close losses they can splinter teams uh, usually close wins bring people closer together and um, we personally prefer close wins here um, <laughs> but uh, 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 again I think um, in the Big 12 you're going to have both and you have to be able to move on and focus on the next game otherwise if you don't then you're not going to give yourself a chance to prepare to even have a chance to be successful. No, not yet. What, what do you see specifically from this? Uh, in conference only stats, um, number one offense and number one three point shooting team. So a team that really uh, uh, can three, four guys on the court can knock it down in a high clip and uh, they really stretch the defense. And then. Um, it's all centered around their 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 four and five. Their four man does a great job in uh, assist turnover ratio, being a point forward, and uh, their big is an elite rim runner. And and then uh, the bench is 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 gotten better and better and uh, more consistent. I think uh, uh, Coach McCaslin feels good with his rotation, and um, like everybody in the in the league, uh, you're one or two possessions away from being seven and zero oh or or two. And five. He pretty dominant side of time defensively against one of the better big teams mm-hmm. in the league in Iowa State. What have you seen him get more comfortable in? League and the physicality and yeah, I think I think uh, uh, definitely just used to the crowds, used to the physicality, used to uh, um, uh, when to go for a block, when not to go. Uh, a lot of times you go and then your man gets a rebound and and just weighing all that, and then uh, every every level you go up. It's it's an adjustment to time, uh, uh, to size, speed, and quickness, length, all of that, and. In the non-conference, we try to challenge ourselves, but at the same time, uh, you really it's, it's when you get in the league, you really grow, and what I mean by that is everybody in the league has a lot better scouting report on you by that time because they've played you in the past or they've seen uh, uh, 14 games already, so they have a tendency where early in the year um, – it's hard to scout teams that you only played a couple games and uh, players are just getting acclimated or coaches are figuring out rotations and ro- and what they're looking at. And so I think, uh, uh, again, everything you get in conference is earned and you don't get a lot of easy buckets, a lot of freebies, and uh, everything's a grind, everything's physical, everything's tough. You talked about after Saturday night, you didn't get any explanations all night, technicals or otherwise. Yeah. Uh, how rare is that? I mean, you've obviously been in this league a long time. Mm-hmm. You've got a lot of respect around this game. Mm-hmm. Did it feel odd and out of place to not? Well, I, it, I was so excited about the win, I, it, and that was the most important thing. Really happy for our staff and players, and um, I know we'll, we'll we'll get that from the league. And again, that's that's the beauty. Whenever you break down game film, um, there's things that uh, uh, I always say. It starts with you. What could I have done better? So um, uh, I know. Whenever talking with officials, good or bad, uh, I can be better at what I do, and that's what I focus on because that's what I can control. Um, the other part, I'll let the league take care of. Scott, when it comes to rebounding, it can be both like a team and individual thing. Uh, as far as Eve and Josh goes, you feel like y'all are getting what you need out of them on the boards? Well, I think uh, 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 no question their best basketball is ahead of them for both of them, and it's how quick and, and how fast can – can they keep moving up steps? And that's what is exciting about uh, this team. We got a lot of youth, got a lot of inexperience. And um, I know uh, the grind, you hit a freshman wall, 
things like that. But at the same time, there's a lot of room to grow and a lot of room to improve. And uh, by the end of the year, that's when you want to be at your best. And uh, hopefully uh, at the end of the year, those guys got a couple more strides in them because uh, uh, they're going to get there at some point. You just want it to be sooner rather than later. Mm-hmm. Uh, you talked to him at all about, I mean, any block is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, like maybe trying to build Russell tight. <laughs> 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 Well, I think our biggest concern is making sure he's going for blocks when it's the right time to go for a block and not just taking him out of a rebounding position. Uh, the next step will be make sure yeah, we don't hit any of our fans with the ball. Let's see if we can get a fast break. <laughs> it's kind of out there for this, sorry. But 20-0 run, uh, you just know, I know basketball is a game of runs, but you mm-hmm. just don't usually see that. How do you feel like y'all responded in terms of, y'all got down to seven? Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, great, great plays by the uh, staff and players, um, and, and it is a game of runs. And, I mean, more than ever with uh, the three-point shot and how quick things change and momentum and, and uh, what the crowd brings to the 13 people on the floor, I mean, all that matters. Do you donate half the win to John? Do you, do you donate half that win to Jake? Is his head coaching <laughs> the staff, the staff definitely uh, deserve more than half of that. So, one hundred percent. Kind of going off the same vein. Just what, what did you see from Coach Jacobs in terms of you know everything kind of going yeah. which way? The crowd's really into it to keep yeah. the guys head on straight and to be able yeah. to overcome that twenty to nothing run to come back. Well, I think I think uh, um, in the in in the huddles we always have uh, um, all of us coaches take turns, and uh, I think. Uh, all, all the staff really did a great job breathing a confidence into him. Um, Coach Jake has uh, uh, called some great plays down the stretch, and I thought uh, Coach Brooks defensively made some great adjustments um, going to the man and uh, um, changing it up down the stretch. So I think uh, 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 the play calls, the defense, um, just the encouragement, keeping everyone focused was 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 uh, uh, tremendous. But again. I, every day in practice, I see I see how good our staff is and what a great job they do. So um, that that doesn't surprise me at all. All right, Eddie here. You guys, questions? Go ahead, and fire away. Eve, uh, obviously, a uh, you know pretty wild, exciting game the other night. I mean, uh, after you know the losing streak that y'all had, how nice is it now to have a couple games in a row? So. Uh, I think the losing is actually really help us, you know, just learning from the mistake we did in the past and trying not to make the same mistake again. It definitely taught us more value and what to change and looking forward to play tomorrow as well. Have you ever been a part of a game that was that wild? Uh, not really. <laughs> That's probably the wildest game ever, but, you know, it's just a, it's a good experience. Just... Learn how to, even when whenever everything is not going your way, how to keep your calm and then do your best. In the moment, did, it, uh, did you know that uh, the last shot that, that they took was, was too late? Or? So I contested and I was in front of him. So I was not sure. It was close to me, but I wasn't sure. But my first reaction is to say it wasn't. It wasn't. So I went to see the ref and it wasn't. Thanks, God. So. Yeah, I did. <laughs> exactly. I wasn't even thinking about it. Just That game was kind of going one way. I mean, they ran off 20 straight points. How did you guys at that point, Scott's back in the locker room, how did you guys get that game turned back around where you were able to win it? Uh, just, you know, throw a cheer for each other it's on the bench, on the court. Just try to play for each other and then stay together is a big part. And, you know, even if Coach wasn't on the court, he was still playing. Uh, I mean, he was he's still a part of the team. He's still playing for him, and you know, just trying to stay together and do our best over there. Coach isn't out there. Does something about the community? Does Coach Jacobs communicate things differently? Do things change in the way that things are relayed to y'all, or is it kind of the same? Even over as the acting coach. Uh. It was kind of the same, you know, just because during practice we used to everyone talking, so. It wasn't something that was so different about it. But, you know, whenever Coach Drew was missing, we still felt it. But 
just the way that Coach Jacobs took over this thing helped us as well. For you, what's better, uh, an alley you dunk or like a big? Anything, I w anything that can help, block, dunks, anything, I would just do it. I know a lot happened in the second half, so this is a lot to think back to. But at halftime, you guys go in up 12, playing some of the best basketball of the year. Do you remember what that message was at halftime before things got a little? Uh, that you're playing the Big 12. <laughs> the game is never over. I mean, against UCF, we were down. I don't know about how much, but we were down a half term. So, the same thing. We just got to close the game regardless of the score. So, we came out for the second half like the score was 0-0. Zero, zero. So. Obviously, you came back out and played. You just want to make sure it wasn't just a drought. Your knee is good. But what happened there on that play when he went down? I rewatch it and I hit my knee on Jaden's head. That's what happened. I wasn't trying to bury him on you know, his head. That's what happened. You did his head? Yeah, his head. The back of his head. Hey, uh, Tech has a fifth-year senior, Warren Washington, seven-footer. What do you see from him? You're probably matched up against him. Uh, so we already did a scout report. He's a good player. Just looking forward to play against him and get better. Seven-footers have you played against? This year? Uh... Uh, a lot. <laughs> yeah, a lot. I probably prefer to play against. Are you comfortable with that? I mean, like... Yeah, I yeah, am. You know, just... It's a human being following me at the end of the day, so... It doesn't matter who it is. You're just ready to play. How much more comfortable do you feel in, in the Big 12 and with the physicality of the league than you... Uh, I would say it's getting better. I'm still trying to get used to it, but... Uh, I feel like I'm taking a step forward every day. So. Oh no, I've never experienced anything like that. Three texts to the coaches is something I never thought I'd experience. Um, I mean, but we stuck together. Uh, that's what we was talking about in the huddles. Just stay together. Make sure we got to get this win because to us, every game is a must win. Um, as a whole, um, without Coach Drew, I think we did pretty good. Um, you know, we all kept our composure uh, every every time out, every huddle or whatever. Uh, players were stepping up, talking in huddles, um, especially like Ray J. He was telling us all to stay calm. I mean, we're the ones on the court, so well, we just have to be relaxed. And then uh, shout out to the coaches for sure. Um, uh, we did, they didn't expect to be in that situation, but uh, they did very well, uh, made great calls, and I think that's why we won the game. So we in a day and age where rosters change all the time, season to season, for a team to go through something like what y'all did Saturday, I mean, that's got to be beneficial. What, how do you think that's kind of affected the team unity, and what, what have you kind of seen the last 24 um, I think now we know what we're capable of doing. Um, uh, you know, uh, the best teams are player-led. And uh, I think in that situation, uh, it gave us the opportunity to show uh, how how we are with our leaders. Um, and then I think that's helped us grow. I think, uh, let's say that happens again, we'll, we'll really know what to do. We'll all really have uh, keep our composure. And then, uh, like we did on Saturday, uh, everybody, everybody's just going to step up and take a bigger role. Speaking of composure, well, we've talked to you about this before, but I feel like when your shot maybe is not falling early in the game, Try to still find other ways to. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, always been your mindset, or. Um, yeah, it's definitely. Um, especially before I even played a game here, uh, coming in as a freshman, coaches were telling me, uh, your, "Every day is not going to be your day," and um, I think I've really almost all conference really experienced that, and um, uh, I think what coaches tell me uh, the best thing about myself is um, my intangibles. Uh, like you were saying, when, when I'm not hitting shots, it's just always been my mindset just to, I just want to win. So whatever it takes to win, I'm going to try to do. And uh, if that's a rebounding, getting steals, just playing defense, uh, that's just a big part of, like, how, uh, who I am, I think. So, yeah, it's always been my mindset. You know, the shot wasn't good when Iowa State put it up? No, I thought it was cash. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> he made it. I was – if you saw my reaction, I just turned around, put my head up. I was like, no way. But then I saw the replay. I was got happy immediately. <laughs> <laughs> so when we, we 
we see this a lot from, from freshmen, from transfers, people that are new to the Big 12. Um, now, you know, whatever, almost 10 games into it here. Do you feel more comfortable or as comfortable as you can be uh, in this conference? Uh, like you were saying, probably just comfortable as I can be. Uh, every game is not easy at all. Um, scouting is really just about to turn up now. Uh, we about to almost enter the second half. So, I mean, just uh, Big 12 is not no joke. But um, I think just playing in it from now, like uh, just playing in it up to this point has definitely helped me, and I think I'm more relaxed now. I didn't even know. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys even in the moment realize it was that much? Uh, I mean, in the moment, I definitely realized, like, because we were up, like, what, 10, 12 when the first tech or something happened. So I definitely noticed quickly how – the momentum changed like all the way. Then they started scoring. Their bench was into it, but I definitely did not know it was twenty zero. I thought it was like twelve something. What does it say about your team that you're able to absorb something like that and still come back? And um, I mean, I think that's what it is. I think that's what the game is part. Everybody, it's a game of runs, and everybody's gonna have their best punch. And I think that was really their best punch of the game. And um, I mean, the whole game we were in control, so we just tried to regain control, and I think that's what we did. I definitely say the physicality and then just uh, the scouts, just the scouts, um, especially since everybody's seen us play now. Uh, the scout reports are almost top tier, so everybody's on every uh, set. So just really um, for myself, uh, I just got to find other ways to do what I do. No problem. Appreciate y'all.